Hello friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bailey Daily House Plans. In today's video, we are doing a flip through of December in my Plum Paper Vertical Columns. So let's take a look. Alrighty friends, so I always start with the index page here for December. It's kind of this bluish grayish color. These are just a couple of deco pieces left over from a lemon and honey studio kit that I used in my social media planner. So I just kind of layered this quote, let the magic begin. I don't know if you can really kind of see that. I, it didn't come out as well as I thought it would because I wanted to have kind of the flowers spraying over the top of the quote there. So I probably should have cut this here and kind of layered it differently. But anyways, that's the index page. I always like to just add a little bit of extra deco to that. Now let's go ahead and flip right into the highlights page. Alrighty, so here we are with the highlights page. I am using a Fern Creek stickers kit here. It's kit 96. And I didn't really fill in any a lot here. December obviously is really busy. Emma came home from school. I haven't even written the memories in yet, friends. And gosh, it is like mid-February. So I'm a little behind in finishing and wrapping this book up. But I'll get to it. These are all items from the kit, including these scripts. I was reading When Life Gives You Lululemons, which I did eventually finish, I think maybe in January I finished it because I did start my current book then. Did a bunch of things regarding Christmas in terms of wrapping, making my nuts that I give away as gifts, decorating the house, mailing cards, all that kind of stuff. Doing some watching here. Yellowstone season five, Don't Worry Darling, which was an interesting movie uh, produced by Olivia Wilde starring Harry Styles. So, and... um. Is her name Chloe Pugh, the female lead in this? It was really an interesting story. I was kind of, I liked it, but it was kind of strange, but I, it's worth a watch. Glass Onion was, of course, just awesome. We loved that one. Something from Tiffany's was a cute Hallmark-like movie. I thought that was really cute. I think I watched it like three or four times. It was just like my background movie for the month. Anytime I wanted just something on in the background, I would put that on. And then Your Christmas or Mine was also very cute. I think uh, is the young actor's name. Asa Buchanan was the star in that. So very sweet. So here is the monthly view. Also part of that Fern Creek Stickers kit 96. I've got several different scripts here. This is from Fern Creek Stickers. These little, these cute little decorate the tree mail cards, wrap presents. These I believe came from my Honey, Lemon and Honey Studios freebie. This was a leftover box. So I just went ahead and put that here because it did match with the kit. So we've had a couple of birthdays in the month. Not a whole lot going on. Break started for Sophie here. Emma came home here. Um, this is an Orange Umbrella Co sticker it comes from a sheet of scripts that are related to school like when the breaks are when the finals are holidays that kind of stuff so this is really pretty i love this print here so this is really a sweet kit okay looking at the first week this is a lemon and honey studio it's called jolly i loved this i thought the colors were so vibrant and i just loved the pinks and the turquoise here for the holiday season i thought it was really fun. Just taking a look at all of kind of my usuals. The to-do scripts here are from Saya Planning. The Otis Meds, these are from It's a Hoot. They were a gift to me from my friend Megan from Megan B Plans It All. These here, Bank, Costco, Commissary, you'll recognize as Phoenix Plan scripts. The Commissary one is a custom that I asked her to do for me. There's that same vet appointment from Fern Creek Stickers. Over here, again, another Phoenix Plans. These came with the kit, these Habits Here, Water, Vitamins, and Walk Otis, which is obviously a custom. These are from Saya Planning. And then Taco Night is a mixed script from Fern Creek Stickers. I have a little sheet of these. So a lot of this came from the kit. My times are either from Phoenix Plans or from Saya Planning. So it just kind of depended on which time sticker I needed. I just kind of pulled from the sheet that had it available. I love, look at this, so cute. And I like the little stitched boxes. These are cute too, the little checklist boxes here with the little stitched pattern on the inside. I love that. I had a big day on Saturday, 11,983 steps. That's pretty big for me. So week two, this is a Cactus Paper Company kit. 
This was my first time using a kit from this shop. We did a collab with my friend from Lost Without a Plan. Her name's Amanda Lynn. This was really fun. We picked a kit together and then she planned with it and then I planned with it. And we kind of posted the different style of planning that we did with the same kit. It was really fun. So again, a lot of my usuals, you've got some scripts here from Phoenix Plans. This is a Planner Kate. This is a leftover from an ever-changing plans kit. I've got my Saya scripts here. My It's a Hoot. We've got more Phoenix plans. I love these canceled stickers here. And then like this little one here, kind of cute little box. So here we go. Target, that is Phoenix plans. Costco is as well. So kind of a light week here. Another vet appointment for Otis. Okay, and then this week, this is a Planner Cake Kit, four fifty eight. I thought this was really cute too. Again, I like kind of those non-traditional colors. The blue in here is really sweet. I love the little reindeer, the little Santa and snowman. So these today's are from Ever Changing Plans. This is again, Phoenix Plans, more scripts from Saya Planning, It's a Hoot. Let's see, this finals came from my orange umbrella co sheet that I was talking about that had a lot of scripts related to school. I've got a couple little pieces of deco in here, little snowflakes. I like this weekend banner, it's really cute. Ooh, big steps, big steps this week. <laughs> we had a holiday party here, so I, I did a lot of walking. So there's that. I like how this turned out. And this, oh, I love this artwork. This is from Lemon and Honey Studio. It's called Deck the Halls. Saya also used this sort of pattern in a different way last year during this time. And I used her kit. And when I saw Lemon and Honey Studio had the same artwork, I was like, oh, I got to have this again. Like, I love this. So this happy birthday is from Saya Planning. It was a custom that I had her do for me. The today, again, is from Ever Changing Plans. Again, I love these little checklists here in the little kind of flag shape basketball practices of course phoenix plans more scripts from saya it's a hoot a couple little deco pieces that i pulled in this script here this quote actually you call it chaos we call it family so describes my family that is from simply smith stickers some more from phoenix plans i loved this deck the halls i thought that was so cute vet appointment again from fern creek stickers this is where I was baking, getting ready for Christmas Day. This came from, I believe this Christmas might be from a Happy Planner book. We do Christmas breakfast at my brother's house, so that's that. I love how this came out. I love all the artwork. I really think she did a good job with using all the different patterns that come with this. And I love all these. Okay, so this last week here in December, this is a Planner Cake Kit, 500. So again, more of the usual scripts and things that I love to use. Ever-changing plans for today. Phoenix plans, Saya plans. It's Saya planning. It's a hoot. This is cute. Cheers to the new year. I kind of liked this gold and pink and black motif going on here. I used a different little time sticker. This, I believe, came from a freebie from Planner Kate. Happy birthday again from Saya Planning. Time stickers are either from Saya Planning or from Phoenix Plans. Commissary, these are all Phoenix Plans here. Bank and Commissary. These ones here I think are from Saya though, the film ones here and here. I like this. We had a very low key New Year's Eve. We just, it, it was storming really bad. So we just went over to a friend's house in the neighborhood and hung out there. So going into my Clean Mama, my monthly cleaning page. So I just used some leftover washi here from that Fern Creek stickers kit. Grabbed a few icons and just kind of tossed them around here. I have all of my scripts here from Saya Planning. I did pretty darn good keeping the house up on the dailies and the weeklies. And then over here, the monthly tasks were office paperwork, which we keep pretty, I like, when I started the Clean Mama routine, I really did a good purge and I've just kind of maintained it. So there wasn't a ton to like evaluate or to do something new or find three trouble spots and like add stuff on. I did okay in the rotating, didn't quite get as far as I would have liked, but that's okay. 
Here I didn't even check mark the rest of these. <laughs> I just kind of got busy as we go, but I do kind of keep up on them. I don't always get them check marked. So there you go, there's that. So now let's take a look at my social media. So my social media planner is an Erin Condren Monthly. This is the December index. I don't do anything here. I just wanted you to see it says, nurture yourself with positive thoughts. So I thought that was a nice quote. So let's go ahead and flip into the month. So here I am using a Lemon and Honey Studio Kit. I love how they die cut their kits. So this is made specifically for an Erin Condren. So you can see these boxes up here are not part of the month. So they did this nice little like die cut of the flowers. The poinsettia is kind of coming down into those boxes. I love this. It's so beautiful. Quote here reads, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Not a lot of posting on Instagram. Really kind of fell off the wagon there, but got most of my videos up these two here I didn't have anything to post so not too bad but keeping up with it I loved the deco in this like isn't that pretty that's from that deco sheet and then I just instead of doing like washi across the top like I normally do I just use the deco here and here just to give it a little bit of sprucing up but you see here that's my checklist and then here's where I log my monthly kits that I'm using and my weekly kits and then the rest of it is just used for notes color swatching with pens and that kind of thing. So that's that. Alrighty, hey friends, so that's just a quick look of my December flip through. We're back to the monthly view in my regular planner. So that's it for this video, friends. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care, bye-bye.